Hi students, welcome back. Now let me explain you the example of pumping lemma. Uh, so here our concept is I have to take one language, a regular language and I have to show that regular language is not, uh, the language that I had taken is not a regular by using pumping lemma. Okay, so here I have taken prove that L is equal to A power I, B power I is I, whatever the I I had taken, it should be greater than or equal to zero. Means it should be uh, greater than zero. Okay. A power 0, B power 0 is not accepted. So, it should be greater than 0. It is not a regular. I have to prove it. It is a not regular. So, it is not regular means you have to take the pumping lemma theorem. So, what are the steps that we have to follow in the pumping lemma? To make that uh, language is not regular. To uh, prove that language is not regular. First, at first we have to assume that L is a language. First assume whatever the language that we have taken that is a language is regular. Just take the contradiction. Okay. So here they are saying we have to prove it is a not regular. So before uh, starts with the contradiction. Let's take L is a regular. And N is a number of states. Let's take N. So here two states are there. Let me take N is a number of states. I have to find out how many states are present there in the language. Now second step. Let the string W is equal to A power N, B power N. Okay, A power N, B power N. Thus, mod W is equal to 2N. So, already two states are there. Okay, two states are there. Okay, two, one, two. So, I have write, write two. So, I don't know still how many states that I will get. Suppose if A square means A into A, I will get. Okay, and B cube means B into B into B. So, total how many? Means I will get... Uh, 2 into 3. Uh, so, total n. How many n? So, here 2 into 2 and 3. So, like that. So, for that I have taken the mod w is equal to 2n. Okay. a and b are the two terms and n is the number of terms. Number of states that are representing. So, here I have taken n is the number of states. Okay. 2n and that should be greater than or equal to n. Now, third step. By pumping lemma, let's take a string we have to take one string w is equal to x, y, z. So, whatever the condition uh, language that you are taking, just take this string and divide this string into three components. Where mod x, y is less than or equal to n. So, let take. Let us take, uh, I divided this x, y, z into three substrings. I have taken x is equal to a power p and y is equal to a power q and z is equal to a power n, b power n. Okay. So, this is a three term I have, let us assume, because I have to take only these two uh, st uh, strings A, B, okay. So, X is equal to A power P and Y is equal to A power Q and Z is equal to A power N, B power N. And where these uh, exponents P plus Q plus R is equal to N, this is a condition. P plus Q plus R is equal to N and P should not equal to 0 and Q should not equal to 0 and R is not equal to 0. Okay. Thus, mod Y is, e is not equal to 0. We know that X, Y power N into Z. Okay. We have to show that it does not belong to the language. We have to show that. So, I have taken the terms X, Y, Z values. Now, let me take... Uh, a simple, uh, let me take the k value, means our uh, equation is x power y, x into y power k into z, okay. So, this is a string, w is equal, this has to be satisfied, x into y power k into z. So, let me take that k value is 2, that is x, y square z. So, in terms of, in place of x, substitute whatever the value that is there. So, for x, what is the value? a power p, y, a q z a power r b n let's substitute the value here so whenever i substitute the values i got this equation x y squared z is equal to a power p a power 2 q a a power r and b power n now number of a's first let me calculate the number of a's in the number of a's these three number of three terms are there a's so only take this exponents p plus 2 q plus r so, I am taking P plus Q plus R plus Q. You know that P plus Q plus R is equal to N. Here the condition is there. P plus Q plus R is equal to N. So, substitute N plus Q. Okay. Now, X, Y square Z is equal to 
a power this complete p plus 2q plus r what you got n plus q so that you need to substitute a power n plus q into bn so this is a equation that you got so previously it is a equation so i just uh, reduce the equation so because here 3 is common here so a into a into a means a power 3 only right okay if a1 a2 a3 is there you will get what you will do a power 1 plus 2 plus 3 so in the same way apply the formula here that formula so p plus 2q plus r so i just take 1q outside i get the p plus q plus r but we know that p plus q plus r is nothing but the n i substitute here a power n plus q is equal into bn since q not equal to 0 means you will get q something like 1 or 2 or 3 okay it should not equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 what you will get a square into b square a power n into b power n so that is a language this is a language that is belongs to the a n into b n but we have to prove that that the language is not regular so that since q is not equal to 0 x y square z is not of the form a power n b power n so it is not in the form of a power n to b power n it is in the form of a power n plus 1 into b power n or a power n plus 2 into b power uh, and like that okay so it is not in a power n b power n form so x y square z is not in the language l and hence l is not a regular so just take contradiction and try to prove that and we have to show that l is not a regular language so this is how you have to do the pumping uh, check whether the language is regular or not by using the pumping lemma thank you